Parking lots, they can be a hotbed of crime this time of year. The thieves out testing doors, looking for the unsuspecting shopper who left all of his or her packages just ripe for picking. Fortunately, this is also the time of year that volunteers increase their neighborhood patrols and focus on shopping areas just for that reason. Our hot camera working for you tonight with ways to stay safe as you make your way out to the last minute shopping. Hawk. Nadine, as we count the days down until Christmas, not only is it crunch time for shoppers, it's crunch time for criminals as well. And with that, volunteers at the Community Oriented Policing Services, or COPS, want you to know how you can keep yourself and your stuff safe. You'll likely see them at some of the busier stores, the busier parking lots. And even this time of year, you know, you'll see people with their window half down. The COPS crews out protecting you. Kelly and Michael are two of the volunteers out on patrol today in the Shadle area. They've got their eyes peeled for suspicious folks, and they remind you to do the same. If you're in the parking lot, you see somebody like jingling door handles or walk around looking at cars, there's a number on Crime Check. Just give it a call. That number, Crime Check, 509-456-2233. They say people make it too easy for criminals sometimes, and it just takes a little forethought to avoid losing out. People will stop at Walmart or Safeways, put packages in the car, and then walk over to the next door and not even think about it. At that point, criminals can pounce. They've likely had eyes on you. As you walk into that store, they know they've got 15 minutes or so to break in. So what to do? First off, try not to leave packages unattended in view. But if you can't... If you have to keep it in your car, put it in the trunk where it's out of sight. Even things like tinted windows, I think people think that um, they can't see anything. But remember, windshields aren't usually tinted. So if somebody's in the front of your car, they can generally see right into it just fine. Patrick Stryker heads up cops. He says another duty of the patrols is to try and find folks that may have left their things out where they can be stolen. If we see a car that has something valuable on it, um, we're going to try and look and see if we can see the owner, maybe if they're just walking away from their car or whatever, try and get their attention. If not, they leave these reminders for folks, so don't be surprised to find one on your dashboard. They're only there to help. And even just being out and about, not even if there are any arrests or the police are actually called, just by being there, these volunteers say they're dissuading thieves from stealing, and they consider that a win. Reporting live, Hawk Hammer, KXY4 News. Thank you.